what's up okay so my name is perfectly blue how's it going i also look like i just woke up because i did um <laughs> yeah yeah i just woke up it's amazing and also i need to sneeze okay but for today i'm gonna show you guys how to do a cut grease it's gonna be really informative and all that crap so uh, let me just get let me get my let me get my face ready and my eyebrows done and i'll be right back to show you what the hell oh my god there's a wasp outside my window okay <laughs> i'll be back okay i'm back and i look weird anyway okay so i want to do like a pink look today so let's get to it all right I'm trying to open the door all right so i want to go in with the jawbreaker palette for bubblegum up here okay. and I'm gonna put that in my crease just cuz it's like a lighter shade of pink mother fucker okay I'm trying to get things out of my way so I can get as close as possible to the camera as I can Oh, okay. Get out of here. Oh, I hate this. blending brush and then blend that out Okay, and then we are gonna get self-made. We put that in our lower lash line. Or lower I don't know why I said lower lash line. Our inner our outer corner. Outer corner. Sorry. And then you're going to dip in both self-made and bubblegum just to blend it out just a little bit more. Get some hot pink vibes going on. I'm 
I'm gonna dig back into bubble gum. Where is this? Where is it? Here. In my inner corner. Man, I cannot speak today. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna recap. Bubblegum is went in the crease, blended that out, then I went into self made. <laughs> Let me get that out for you right now. Self made, which is a new Jeffree Star and Morphe collab. This hot pink right there. Put that in a corner, blended it out. Then I got both of them on a clean, fluffy brush. Mix them together, so I dipped one time into bell gum, one time into self made, blended it out a little bit, make it more even. And then I got bubble gum again and just put that in the inner corner, inner, yeah, the inner corner. And now I think we might be ready to cut our crease. Cool, all right, so. What we're gonna do, I think I've showed this step before, but I'm not too certain. We're gonna get this round packer brush. I use it to um, cut my creases because it's round, if you didn't notice. All right, but basically, this is called your doe foot. You need to put it on both sides of the bristles, front and back. My abs hurt. I been working out so uh i'm a little sore i know crazy right then you're gonna get this you're gonna start in your inner corner and then go outwards i usually do like a half circle you can do a halo which is starting from here and going down but blending both sides out but i do like the inner corner Sorry, you're hearing like a bunch of dogs bark right now. And I usually just stop right there and then I blend it out. packer brush oh hello right and i usually just do i do shimmers where i do my um my cut crease so you can do whatever you want you can do more colors you can do the opposite colors it doesn't matter as long as you cut the crease and then put colors on it or you can even leave it like that i've seen some people do that but i'm gonna go ahead and get some dog mom and put them I thought that was going to be Victoria, but I was mistaken. So we're going to try to get snack and fix this real quick. Mm. 
And then I'm going to get a blending brush and just run that out really quick. And that, my ladies, is how you do a cut crease. Pretty simple, if you might ask me. But, you know, it does take time to get that uh, that straight line, you know, on point or whatever. I'm sorry, I like Batman Rock. Uh, but, yeah. I'm going to finish this look, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll, you know, do the introduction or whatever with this finish look um maybe not i don't know <laughs> sorry guys but uh have a good day bye